Well, we knew this was coming. I mean, I've been talking about it for the past couple of weeks where it was a matter of time before the league had decided that we are going to go with a points per game system to determine playoffs. And today, the league officially announced that they are going to go with a points per game system to determine who exactly is going to make the playoffs and the playoff seeding. Now, obviously, unsurprisingly, it has met with a lot of criticism and the fact that people have been saying this is absolutely unfair and i'm pretty sure especially teams that is on the bubble of the western conference the likes of rsl san jose vancouver and all these teams they're absolutely pissed off right now the fact that now they're going to to have a lot of uncertainty about their playoff position and some people think colorado basically just gifted themselves into the playoffs despite the fact that they haven't pl played a lot of games and that they're probably not going to play all the games that they they missed during that month-long period where they weren't able to play their games because one of their players got got COVID-19. Well, not just one of their player, but pretty much an outbreak that happened to that team. But at the end of the day, we knew this was coming. We knew that this was really kind of the only fair way to kind of determine that because it just looked like Colorado wasn't going to make up all their game and that there's really no other choice. Like, there's really unfair fairness either way at the end of the day you know what the the first unfairness is that we basically throw away colorado chances of making the playoffs and they're going to be probably upset that all their hard work that they've done this this year is worth absolutely nothing in that we basically just gifted another team that probably don't deserve to make it to the the playoffs and we gifted that spot that maybe colorado should have been in on the other hand, people are going to be pissed off the fact that, you know, now Colorado has gotten, just because they haven't played a lot of their game and they kind of feel like they just took advantage of this system to make it into the playoffs, whereas other teams that have played so many games, but they just missed out because of the points per game system, that's also another argument that they had. But either way, as I said before, whatever MLS is going to do to determine playoffs is not going to be fair whatsoever and this year alone it's been an unfair fair year to to everybody and there's been a lot of unfairness has has happened but unfortunately at the end of the day this is just the reality that we have to live in and because of the fact that we're going to a points per game system uh, I have got an updated table right now in the league standings and i'm not going to do the eastern conference because the eastern conference boring if there is no more games in the eastern conference that is postponed that, that most likely is not going to make up because we're getting to a point where we're getting too close to decision day where they even going to be thinking about making up games during the middle of the week but boring that the eastern conference should stay pretty much the same because every single team should be able to play the same amount of games but in the western conference this is where it's going to gets a little di different so right now seattle is currently at the top of the western conference because their points per game is 1.84 sporting kc is currently second with 1.8 portland timbers is currently in third with 1.75 minnesota is currently 1.5 a and they move up to fourth place and because of the fact that we decided to go with this points per game system this means minnesota has officially clinched the playoffs and you know i kind of had a feeling the loons was getting closer and closer making the playoffs with them getting this unbeaten run going and getting a uh, amount of points despite the fact that i've been repeatedly said that the loons have been getting these points in a very ugly way but in some way i kind of feel like it was a matter of time before they clinched the playoffs and probably this weekend was the time when we were on verge of clinching the playoffs well we don't have to worry about that anymore more about this weekend because of this points per game system this means that minnesota is going to be making the playoffs and over leapfrog lafc in terms of that spot whereas for lafc they're currently at 1.55 and currently in in fifth posi position while dallas is currently in sixth place with a 1.47 points per game game ratio and then this is where we get into the bubble and this is where where there's gonna gonna be a lot of people that are fans of these team that's currently in this bubble of the Western Conference that is very upset about this. So you got the San Jose Earthquakes who is currently have a a points per game ratio of 1.29. The Colorado Rapids now leap leapfrog basically three teams to jump themselves into eighth place with a 1.27 point 
points per game system. Vancouver currently have a 1.14 points per game system. RSL have a 1.1 points per game system. Houston currently have a 1. Point points per game system and the galaxy currently have a 0 0.95 points per game system and because of the fact that we are going with this kind of points per game system i'm gonna also have to really rely on the league website to tell me the playoff scenario because i am not going to do the math in ter terms of how to determine playoff or how to determine points per game system in a way of who potentially is going going to to make the playoffs and who's going to get eliminated in terms of playoff scenarios so hopefully the league website is going to continue to update us of what's going to happen who can have a chance to clinch because of the fact that we're going with this points per game system and who exactly is on the verge of getting eliminated because of this points per game system but yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think of this and again this is going to be very very unfair but it is what it is because i really think this is probably the best option we have other than the fact that maybe you decide to kick Colorado out of the playoffs but if you do that as I said Colorado fans are going to be upset the fact that all their effort that they've been spending this year is pretty much worth worth nothing and you're not going to to please them at all but at the end of the day this decision is not going to please anyone I mean I'm not really that pleased either with the way that the Quakes are going to have to doubly work hard to try to make sure themselves get into the playoffs but let me know in the comments below what do you think of this and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time